everyone, it's Hannah B here and this is my first Cook Along With Me video. So today we're going to be making guacamole. You need four avocados, half a chilli, two limes, three cloves of garlic, some Tupperware that we're going to put the guacamole in, a knife that's going to chop all the ingredients and later on you'll also need a fork. So to start off we're going to chop our avocados in half. Now be really careful with the knife as avocados have a huge stone in the middle which sometimes means the knife can slip and you can hurt yourself quite easily. So just take your time. Now we'll just repeat this with all of our avocados. Next we're going to take that fork that I mentioned earlier and all of our avocado halves and just scoop out the inside into the Tupperware. Next, we're gonna just mash all of our avocado with our fork. This does take a bit of time, guys, so bear with it. I've had to speed it up for the sake of the video, but it should end up looking just like this. Next, you are going to chop your limes in half. Again, be really careful with the knife, careful not to get your fingers, and then just squeeze the limes into the avocado. After this, we're gonna take our trusty fork and we're just gonna mash the avocado a little bit more and mix in the lime juice. We are going to put our Tupperware to the side and we are going to chop up some chili. Now, I quite like things spicy, so I've used a lot of chili. You can use a little bit less if you'd like, or you can substitute it for coriander if you don't like spicy things. So I'm just chopping this up into tiny, tiny pieces so it mixes in really well with the avocado and the lime juice. Next up, we're adding my favorite ingredient, the garlic. So I had a fresh bulb of garlic, meaning I just had to peel it so I could get to the cloves. Now I'm just peeling the clove of garlic before I chop it. Now, just to make it a bit easier before I chop it, I am going to crush my garlic. And then I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the chili and chop it into little tiny pieces. Repeat this with the other two cloves of garlic that you've got, and then they should all be ready to be added in. So I've added in the chilli and the garlic which were the final ingredients and I'm giving the guacamole one final stir before it's ready to be served. Before we try our guacamole, let's clean up our kitchens. I don't know about you guys, but I'm an incredibly messy cook. So I am cleaning up all the bits and bobs that I've used and any mess that I've made. The people that you live with are gonna be incredibly grateful if you make sure it's nice and tidy. And look at that, spick and spam. Now let's try it. I had mine with a bit of cucumber, however you can have it with crisps or pita bread, or you can even have it in some fajitas. And I won't lie to you guys, it is absolutely amazing. Now I'll pop it in the fridge to keep it nice and fresh. Let us know if you enjoy this recipe. Thank you for watching, bye.